Hello everybody, Realm Builder Guy here, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to Al Andalus Achievement Run here with the Abadids on CK3. So last episode, obviously, there was a lot going on. We were able to found the Sultanate, or the Abadid Sultanate, I mean, technically the Andalusian Sultanate. Uh, and then, of course, the Sultan died. So now we're, we're dragged into a war, uh, not of our making which kind of got in the way of some initial plans um, that I was working on as far as conquering the Tahirids and further weakening the uh, Thununids. And I was told that it is pronounced like the, the, the Nunids. So I, I will try that. Just so you know, I do mispronounce things. Um, I'm a native speaker of English and native speaker of German, pretty good with my Afrikaans and ish with anything Italian or French. I uh, didn't pay enough attention in school, but beyond that, you know, I don't, I'm not fluent in other languages, so please, please uh, excuse that. I appreciate the uh, comments, uh, any comments, of course, and likes and views and so on. So don't forget, hit like here. Um, that kind of yeah, broadened my horizon linguistically, but just know I'm still going to get it wrong. So, uh, <laughs> please, please, uh, accept my apologies. So now, uh, they're fighting a battle down here and the Thununids, Thununids, the Thununids, da -da -da -da, uh, are moving in to Valencia that way. So this is obviously our target. Um, so we're going to take our, our troops here. We're going to move first here into that province obviously hit need to i say obviously a lot you need to uh, unpause the game and move that way all right so they won their battle down there oh we have my sister has given birth to a son abbas very nice fantastic i'm so happy but right now we need to get out of this war so that we can deal with a different war all right, let's move down here, combine forces, and then we can march in and after the enemy. And see if we can get them into a battle that we can win. So they are taking attrition here, of course. So now let's move next door. And then straight in. All right. So we have an advantage here. Better army commander. More army commander traits. Um, so everything is in our advantage here to defeat them. Let's get in there and get some, get some battle sounds going. And we will win this one. Perfect. So that's a good blow uh, against our most immediate threat and the ones that we are going to be targeting to um, eventually gain the upper hand of all of Iberia. So here's a little skirmish. Now it's time for a very, very long siege. I mean, it's a pretty high fort level here, fort level five. 750 men uh, are in the garrison. But I would assume as we get this uh, whittled down, we'll be able to help Valencia end this war and expand their reach. And then, then it's a strategy session time. This is time to think about what we want to do. Do we want to take out the Zahirids, which I do believe still needs to happen. If we take out the Zahirids, uh, oh, our one of our chancellors died. Oh, we have two few spouses. All right, let's let's find one. Um, let's hit pause here real quick. Let's go in here and let's find. Let's go for traits this time. Inheritable traits. Uh, let's see. We've got hail. Yeah, I don't. I don't care too much about these alliances. 
sister-in-law knew. That would just be a little weird. 35, a little bit younger, but not like crazy young. So that's all we have as far as inheritable traits. So at 30 or 38, ooh, uh, nice intrigue, robust. 32 could still bear children. And we have 14 here. Comely. Um, may as well. Might as well go through that. Exercise. Get that marriage done. Fantastic. All right. Mohammed has come of age. Greetings. I accept your marriage proposal. Doesn't he look lovely? <laughs> uh, heir unmarried. All right. Now let's find someone here. He is 16. And let's forget about the trait right now. Is there anybody in here that would make sense? Any good alliances? Seville? The Tahirids. I mean, you can marry into the Tahirids. Um, which would be a little weird. The Hudids. Again, six. Need somebody that's, like, roughly his age. Nineteen. Sixteen. Got some good learning. Gregarious. Compassionate. And there's some good ones in here. Uh, spindly, no. Definitely not negative traits. Cynical, patient, deceitful. I don't even know where these guys are. Uh, Africa. Oh, yeah. I mean, let's see here. Get him married. Primary wife. Roughly the same age. And that will definitely help. Inherited the Emirate of Seville and three other titles. From Emir Yaya Ibn Fat Partition. Okay. Alliance formed. Excellent. Okay. We're still well within the domain holdings. It looks like the Hudids are coming down for a battle. No, they have decided to retreat. I mean, obviously, that always hurts the siege progress. But um, I think we'll, we'll get this done here, and then we'll move up north, if need be, to take care of them. All right, so we got the... Uh, we can't do anything. It's not our war. Let's move these guys up north, and maybe we can... Hurt them a little bit more, but it's 100% war score, so he should be ending this one very, very soon. I mean, maybe we can get a nice little battle going here and kill someone of importance. The Emir himself is leading. Alright, so the war is over. We will disband all of our troops. And our ally has gotten stronger. Fantastic. So now, let's just take a quick look on where things are. Inherit all the emirate titles. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Ah, Butayana is pregnant. Fantastic. Declare wars. I mean, now, of course, we have... We can declare war on the Almoravids. Really? Interesting. Um, I won't, but it's definitely one to... To keep an eye on. Ideally, I'd like to ally with them. Again, I've mentioned this before. Um, I don't know if we have anybody that can. I'm trying to see through here. If there's anybody. Our half-brother. And... Sure. 
will not accept too many existing alliances as a minus 45 on this one, then doesn't like us. Different faith. Yeah, so unfortunately, that's just not going to happen. Um, let's see. Can we... Waladi faith. I wonder if we can arrange a marriage with them. Our niece. No. Let's see. Uh, where was he again? Where was he? Half brother. No, unfortunately we can't. So I was hoping we could maybe neutralize them, but either way. We need a new marshal. So our brother who does not like us. Our half brother who does not like us. But it really, or it needs to just be a vassal. We're going to have to go with our brother who does not like us. Which is a, a general issue that's going on here so let's go to our court actually let's go to the council here and see uh, we need to work on on our half brother here and start improving the relationship there kind of build some bridges really is what we need so now let's take a look at the tahirids here so they have the north africans um, we obviously do not, let's see, after sits, um, what happened to Valencia? Valencia is now allied with the Dehunids. All right, so the Tahirids can muster a force of 5,500, oh, call it 6,000, 6,500. We bring about uh, roughly 6,500, 6,5, 7,5,000. I mean, it'd be a pretty close one. The Tehunits themselves... They bring in Valencia and the Tahirids. And it would be less of a force because they don't have their North they don't have North African allies. Let's see if we can do something with the with up here in the Hudids. Is there anybody we can marry off to get us an alliance? Half brother? Yes. Yes, will not accept because of too many, and he doesn't really like us. We have too many existing alliances. Well, let's do the old thing and send him a gift. And now let's arrange that same marriage again. And boom. We have an alliance that hopefully won't break. He's 28, so that should last a while. So again, that's a, just a strategic thing right now to have that alliance to the north that will help against the Duhunids. And I think that is the play we need to go for, is to go after the Duhunids, call in our allies, they will call in theirs, and just have a big old rumble here in Iberia. Uh, that, is, that is clearly the way we need to go. Um, let's take a look at declaring a war. We can only do that. We... Oh, child, Abad, fantastic. The kingdom. You may only attempt one invasion war against a kingdom tier per lifetime. And exalted is less than exalted amongst men. We're now nowhere near that. What about the duchy? It'll cost us 500 in piety. De jure county. Uh, only the de jure county. Ah. That's the one that I want, but we're just, we're not there. We, we can't do it yet. That is frustrating. 
Okay, Tahirids. Declare a war here. Okay, we can get him all his claims. I have a daughter. Dania. Fantastic. County conquered the duchy. Uh, to make my brother Prince Rashid more susceptible to my attempts at approaching him, I can include a compliment in my next one. Yeah, fine. So, what are we missing here? Discover communal government. Illustrious. Excellent. So, 10 opinion increase. So again, we just don't have the level of fame required. So, now, let's take a look at culture. We're still working on mangonels. We're, we're getting there. This is, this is really the one that we need. Without a doubt. Uh, that we need to push into. Oh, that's frustrating. I was hoping we could take on the Dahunids. But it's I, just not worth it at this point. I mean, again, we can go after the du jour. Um, which may or may not be worth it. I mean, that's an awfully big war for not a whole lot of territory. We cannot invade the entire kingdom because we just don't have the prerequisites. The duchy, we don't have the prerequisites be prerequisites for and the Tahirids again we can push for his claims um, you know and, and given that we are now at a higher tier he would still I believe be our vassal becomes your vassal becomes your vassal I mean, that would be the best way to go for this. We can do it. And then we really knock out a major ally. But we also know um, that he's going to bring in some power here. The cost is 750. Of course, the fear, is, the, the problem we may have is We'll have to knock down our prestige. But I believe to progress this forward and create a, a big change, I think we will push for his claims and we'll just gobble that all up. And he will, it looks like, continue to be our vassal. Gets Tahirid Emirate and becomes your vassal, becomes vassal. All right. So let's go for this. Raise all of our armies. And now we will call our allies to war. We're going to start with the Hudids. That'll cost 150. Then the Aftazids. For sure. These next ones will just leave. I mean, we could... You know what? Let's just do it. Ah, then we can't. That costs too much. And we have the money that we could also uh, bring in our... Uh, we could get some mercenaries as well. So now we've got two major forces. Uh, new stewardship, stewardship lifestyle perk. So we will unlock architects. And the architect trait gives us stewardship plus two, building construction time plus uh, minus fifteen percent, construction cost minus ten percent, holding construction minus fifteen percent, and cost minus ten percent. All right, so now we've got two larger armies. I honestly would very much like to combine them. Yes, now that now the war is definitely on here. I'm going to bring these together. Merge them. And see if we can have a decisive victory here. 
early on. Don't think we'll get there. Oh, I'm ill. It's too late for caution. Uh, I will live to see another day. Fantastic. Greatly reduced disease symptoms for a year. Randa has come of age. So now we will move our forces down here and besiege them. And here, here, here comes the enemy. Here comes the enemy. Actually, you know what? We are going to divert our forces because it's, this is this is going to be ugly fast. We need to get there. I don't think we'll get there in time. I can get there with everybody roughly at the same time. And big, big, big battle. My old self. Ah, good. I'm no longer ill. Good now. Now. Let's move, actually. across here. We, we need some decisive battles here um, and see what we can do. All right, so now we have the first major battle. Allies are battling over there. It's going to be a close one, but we should win this one. All right, we have won that one. And now we have a battle down here against this force, which we will win. Let's see if we can just win it quickly enough. Get in there. Defeat that enemy force. Fantastic. All right. We had some good, good victories here. Enemy combatants captured. All right. Now... Now let's move down here and have some sieges. I think on top of that, we will add some mercenaries. Just as a general strike force, add two of them. Let's add this, this one here. And just as a strike force at home. Decent commander. Alright, so now we are besieging here. And we've got six months left in that siege. With allies coming. We have this force here in Granada. And Granada is going to be a difficult one for them to crack. No, no doubt about it. We'll just keep an eye on what they do. Let's move in here. Yeah, they're going to lose that battle. Let's move into the mountains here. Ah, here we've got a battle. That's going to be relatively equal. But we're just trying to buy some time, really, at this point. Mercenary company dismissed. Oh, we have a son. A bot. Enemy ally has joined the war. So we're going to lose this battle, but my focus is here. And then once we have that resolved, we can start picking some other battles. It's just a matter of days, and then, and then we can go away, try to evade, and then combine forces. Okay, that was a huge, huge one there. Eighty-two percent. 
So that's a huge, we're at a big advantage there as far as the war score goes. On the road, my steward, Wally Uzmir, informs me that there is a desperate need for a new road to traverse Shechtim of Nioba. <sighs> yeah, we, not right now. We're in the middle of a war. We're not going to spend the money. We'll gain the prestige. Now let's move this force up here. Where's our other army? There. Move them across. Uh, let's see here. Move down south as well. And that force is coming over here. If we can combine and our allies don't desert us. And we can force a battle. Ah, oh, this is going to be a tough war, no doubt. Uh, through downcast lashes, as my eyes meet Bahax, um, for what feels like the 20th time tonight, I know I'm not imagining things. Even from the other end of the table, her gaze feels as intense as the midday sun. She wants me. I can feel my body responding, awakening. But Mohammed, her husband, and my son and heir is also here tonight. Um, nope, nope, we're gonna stay pure. Okay, we need a commander here. I'm gonna put him in charge. I have a son, Abdul Aziz, fantastic. Okay, now we have a combined force here. Now they're gonna win that siege before. Hmm. <sighs> So that's going to kill our our uh, progress here, our war score. This is, this is going to be a difficult war. It's going to be a long, drawn-out one. But I still feel like we could win it. I'm going to win it back. See, that was a, that's a big one. Uh, so empty council position. Our spy master has died. Let's sign our wife. Let's see if we can get out of that battle. We can't. That's not good. If our allies could get there in time, that would be nice. The Carps. Is this... Yeah. Um, no, I'm not spending money on Carps right now. Hey, another child. Well, if we could get allies to show up anytime in time, that would be fantastic. Uh, that is frustrating. That's a big loss right there. And we lost our marshal. It was our brother and didn't really like us, so, you know. Swings and roundabouts. Ah, uh, that is frustrating right there. Very frustrating. And Kara, another daughter. Wow, it's... Our dynasty is growing and growing and growing. It looks like there's an internal war going on here, which that's exactly what we need. All right. Actually, let's go the southern route here. Try to get back to Granada. Alliance invalid. Yeah, I've got a bad feeling about this. So they're going after our capital. Actually, enemy ally has joined the war. Prisoners can get ransomed. All right, we're going to go back the sneaky way here. See if we can re reconquer. But needless to say, this war is not quite going as planned. We were close there. Things were looking good. And then a lot of things just completely fell apart. Uh, which is always very, very frustrating. 
And they are marching, they're splitting up their forces, trying to figure out which way they're going. I'd love for them to try to siege down Granada. But odds are they're going to try to come for us. New stewardship perk. Golden obligation. Or claim thrown against your liege. Golden obligations, let's go down that route. Ah, uh, dang it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna take off. Ah, uh, we're not gonna get out of there in time. Damn it. Yeah, we're gonna lose this battle as well. Your brother has died. Alliance has expired. Ah, uh, another one lost. This war is falling to pieces quickly. Um, and that's frustrating. Ah, uh, there comes another ally. If we look at it now, they have the superior alliances and forces. And we are... We are out. I will not accept a white piece. War score... They're a way to surrender. Keeps the contested title. Loses his claim. You pay... Oh, Christ, no. They're going to bankrupt us. This, this, this war is going to hurt in so many ways. So many ways. We were, we were in a good position, and now we are most definitely not. Hmm. I mean, if we can goad them into trying to take Alhambra, then we have a, we have a chance. Or we could make a Mac dash for Toledo. It's not a target. But, uh, yeah. If we could knock them out. Prince Rashid has passed away. Her brother has died. So that means an alliance has expired. Um, we can demand payments. All right, let's let's ransom some of these. <laughs> Can't really pay much. Yeah, we're not going to worry about swaying anybody because we're we're looking like odds on favorites to lose this war handily. Um, and that's very, very, very frustrating. God, look at the size of that force. Ah. Wasn't able to get out of there in time. Now we're going to get crushed on the home front. This is just falling to pieces. Ah, uh, well, it was a good idea for a while. Wife is pregnant. Mercenary company contract expiring. Allied combatants are crushed and uh, are slain. And so this is... Yeah, I don't know if we can make this one come in our favor anytime soon. We need to recoup our forces. They're eight months away. The only, and they're breaking off the siege there. We have to cross there. Again, the only hope that would be is knocking out one of their major capitals, and I just don't see that happening. Their their force is so large. Uh, she's no longer pregnant. All right, again, I, I'm sorry I'm not focusing on a lot of those events, because obviously this one here is a bit of a rough one that we need to figure out. Um, I don't even know what that is. 
faction created against us. Oof. Yeah, it's not not looking good. But we'll march here along the south coast in hopes that we could maybe still do something. Uh, mercenary company is gone. I don't even see them right now. There they are. They're coming out of that heartland right there. We're going to try this one more time. Kind of a, a desperation attempt. Uh, 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 nope. Nope. There's that army. Yeah, this is this is not going to end well for us at all. Ah, we had we had the good situation there and now uh it's not gone well for us. Yeah, we're not going to get involved in that battle because Yeah, that's Ah, uh, shoot. That is all very, very frustrating. Yeah, let's let's just run up here to Toledo. Um, I mean, we're going to lose this war here on this episode. Tried, we gambled, and it wasn't really gamble. It was a calculated risk, really. Um, and it just didn't come off. I mean, we, and we were close. I mean, we were at 82% war score. Um, I just don't think we can bring in enough troops at this point to make a difference in time. I don't know who there is that could even help us. them possibly is there anybody we could do our sister yeah no forget it we cannot get any any help at this point that's going to get here in time so i think this is just going to be a write-off war that uh we are we are going to lose uh, we can't outrun them. They have the superior force. We cannot get our sieges done in time before they're going to absolutely destroy us in battle again. I mean, I, there's a part of me that's like, all right, just come attack us. Give us the last bit here, and then the war is going to be over. Uh, we're going to lose money. Inherited... A mosque. This battle is going to be the end of it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, there we go. A renewed jihad. So let's deal with this first. The House of Islam is under grave threat from the onslaught of heathens and infidels in its very heartlands. In response, his magnificence, Caliph Hashmadin, has declared that an era of renewed jihad is upon the world. The core re regions of the Dar al-Islam must be retaken at all cost. All righteous Muslim faithful should prepare to join the ranks of the Mujahideen for the upcoming struggles. The theological ramifications of this news are already being discussed by several notable members of our clergy who are eager to follow the example of the Asharis and begin a new age of religious warfare in the name of Mualadism. All right, if you say so. We have lost the war, and that's bad. So now uh, we are in debt. We've got some people we can ransom. So, yeah, that did not go well. Disband all of our soldiers. But the good thing is we won't be in debt very long. It'll be time to 
rebuild. Um, there, we are no longer in debt, so that's already gone. So we tried, it didn't pay off. We need to rebuild, refocus, and not try that again. Um, so, hey, you win some, you lose some. We were on a pretty good roll. I feel like it was a risk worth taking. We had the advantage at the time, and then the advantage went away. You know, the Dohunids, I, I honestly feel like if we would have just gone after the uh, Thununids, then we could have won, but that was not an option. So now we're rebuilding a little bit. So hopefully you still enjoyed, even though we lost this war, uh, which would have been a great war to win. But um, yeah, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the links in the description. Until next time, I'm Realm Builder Guy, and I'll talk to you soon.